Good evening viewers, we are still in the airport, our flight is boarding probably now. Roger is on his second burger of the last two hours from McDonald's. We've spent the last 12 hours in Barcelona, we've seen most of the sights, we've had a really good day. Really tired now and sunburnt, but we're going ahead to Heraklion, which is a city in Crete, which is in Greece. Um, on this plane, if we find where the gate is. We land at something past three in the morning, then we go straight to a hotel for one night that we booked near the airport uh, with 24 hour check in, so we get about six hours sleep there, then we leave and we explore Heraklion tomorrow. But first, where do we get this plane? Rogers on that bus. Made it to Crete. It's 4 a.m. here. I'm really tired. Yeah. Thanks. This is our hotel for the night. I'm glad this is only our room for one night. It'll do, but it's not the best hotel room that I've seen. A little seat in the shower. We'll get some sleep. Aeroplanes have been going over the top of this hotel room all night. And they're so loud. Oh, it's so bright out here as well. But we've slept, had like four and a half, five hours of sleep, which is not enough. But it'll do. Sorry, I can't see out here, let me go back inside. That's better. So now we're going to have a look around this town, and then we're going to catch a bus to Malia. So we need to find the bus station, we need to find which bus we need, and I don't know how long that's going to take. But at some point today, we will get to Malia. That's where we stay for the, the whole week. These are just such terrible crossings. This is not actually a crossing here, but there's a green man, but there are cars trying to kill you anyway. What if you were in a wheelchair and you wanted to cross? Like, this is apparently a crossing, but there's just nothing except big steps and a light to tell you to run in front of cars and risk your life. But there is the sea. In Spain, I had internet because three have their feel at home service, which lets me use my normal minutes, texts, and data in a variety of other countries, which included Spain. But that does not extend to Greece, so for the next week, we will need to rely on free Wi Fi if we want to use the internet. It's times like now, we've got nothing, no maps, we're just wandering around. We found a map, I think. So where did we start? Um, uh, we've walked like in a circle around the centre, haven't we?
Bones. I'm gonna get some food. Lunch done, we're gonna have a quick walk around on this street and Hello. see what's here. And then we'll find the bus station again and go to Malia. This part of Heraklion is really nice. We found where like a main street is with loads of cafes and bars and a fountain. It's not very fountainy. Okay, we've got bus tickets to Malia. The coach actually drove right past our hotel, um, but didn't stop, so now we have to walk all the way back up this street. So this is the main strip. Might be the main strip. I'm not actually too sure. Lots of people on quad bikes. I can't do it, not covered on my insurance. Probably not on theirs either. Our hotel is not on the strip. Hopefully we're far enough away for it to be quiet. We are staying in Aegean Sky, which is made up of four buildings. This is number two. Number one is nearby. We've passed number four back there. And number three is halfway down that street. Number one and number four are next to the pool that they've got. Number two is near the pool, and number three is not near the pool because it's halfway down the street. Although it will be quieter down there, but it is closer to that road with all the quad bikes. I don't know which one's best. I think we're gonna get two or three. She looks all right in this. Because we didn't pay enough to get poolside. Oh, there's quad bikes, this should be illegal. You record everything. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube. Your first good strawberry slash puppy, please. That's nice. This is our apartment for the week. We've showered again, and now we're gonna go out and find a restaurant to have dinner in. Dinner time, and I've got one hell of a meal here. Spare ribs. Those spare ribs were great. Just had to go and like wash my hands and face because they're so messy. We've been given free cocktails, which is nice. It's not very busy yet. What time is it now? 25 past 11. After 11 o'clock, and there's like nobody around. I'm not sure what's happening. <laughs> It's starting to get busier. We're gonna walk further down. We've been right to the end, and there's just hardly anybody here. And the drinks are really expensive. Like five euros for a drink. This is a drink known as a head cup. It's just lots of spirits. I feel like they're gonna be very watered down though. Ten euros for this pocket. Two guys in here who don't actually work here. The problem is, 
All of the bars were quite good, but a bit expensive. And presumably for that reason, nobody was in them. So everybody was just like pre-drinking in their rooms, we assume. And then it got really busy like 2 a.m. but everyone went straight for the clubs. And we didn't really want to go to a club. But unfortunately, a bar with only two of us is just <laughs> not very fun. I think we're going to just go back to our apartment now. We'll try again tomorrow, but... It's very sexist in Malia. Guys welcome, ladies very welcome. Yeah, I'll rip that. Impressed. So, let's not go to that bar because they're sexist and homophobic. He really wasn't happy with me filming and... Complaining and about a sexist right side and then threatened to box our faces in or at least Rogers and pushed me Yeah, he, like he actually pushed Roger and said he could get away with it if he wanted to Very welcoming